Um, but then moved to Third Ward. My mom had moved to, I don't even know what it was. I don't even know if it was an apartment, a townhouse. She, no, yeah, I'm lying. My mom moved to some old people home. It was some elderly people homes. Get that shit out my I'm life. I'm playing, baby. My mama then moved into some elderly yeah, people homes. I know. My life. I'm just trying I'm to alive. put her shit. I tried to put her bumper Bruh. back on. Right, right. I'm alive, guys. Baby, Chill. Baby, you, you, okay, you I'm gonna get out the car then. You just, no, I don't want that go. in my lap. Maybe tell me you're bringing bumper. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I, I don't want that in my lap, so I'm gonna go outside. All right, cool. So, anyway, I'm trying to get to the point. Everybody keep interrupting me. So, basically, cool. I didn't move. We didn't move right back to the hood. We, we didn't move out the hood, right back into the hood. Cool, whatever. Cool, you know what. I moved to Houston. My very, very, very first school that anybody went to in my family was Dowling. If you know Dowling, if you're from Houston, Dowling. The hood again, y'all. I think y'all think like, I think a lot of people think we got it. We had it easy. Like, you know, we very blessed. I'm not going to say that. We are so blessed. My family is so blessed. But, bro, we didn't came a long way. My mama lost everything in her hurricane. Trip. She lost everything. She lost her home. She lost her pity. She lost her family, bro. We lost everything. We came to Houston. We started over. We started over. We went right back to the hood. We moved to Dowling. I'm, I'm... We moved to Dowling. Cool. I finally got the uh, got enough fucking. My, no, I'm lying. My sister got enough fucking knowledge to go to Lamar High School, bro. If y'all in Houston, y'all know Lamar High School. She didn't. My mama didn't study enough research. to so like, damn, I'm gonna send my my daughter to Lamar High School. She wants to. Dowling, then she went to Johnson, then she went to Lamar. I went to Persian, then I went to Johnson, then I went to Lamar, then I went to Bel Air. We finally got enough lives going on. We can actually go to educated ass schools, get our shit together. I'm so blessed. I think a lot of people think that I have easy. Record this shit, all the fan pages, everything. I think a lot of y'all think that I had that shit easy, bro. I didn't have that shit easy. One thing about my mama, she hustled, bro. If you see my mama nowadays, you like, damn, her mama cute, her mama rich, her mama got a nice ass car, bro. My mama. Hustled, she hustled, and my mom is my biggest inspiration, bro. She came from nothing, bro. She came from nothing, nobody. My mom is a big ass inspiration, bro. She still ain't where she want to be. I still mama do some work. My mom didn't got a Maserati, but she didn't. She didn't got some nice car and a nice ass house and, and nice ass niggas and nice ass family, bro. Why the fuck, bro? I'm on live. Can y'all stop? Can you stop being so damn loud? Sorry. I'm talking to Erie. Anyways, my mom and it came out some hard ass situations, bro. And I respect her for that. I really appreciate her for that. She didn't put me and my sister in so many other positions that I could never imagine that I would be in. So my mom put me in high school. Let me tell you how I feel like my life started. I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm not a hater. I give everybody their props. So when I was in eighth grade, 8th grade to 12th grade. As soon as I joined middle school to high school, I feel like I was a very popular person. I don't want to say popular because popular is lame. Like, now that I'm out of high school, who the fuck thinks they popular? You lame tell in real life. But in middle school and high school, I feel like I was very popular. You know, all the girls onto my friends, all the boys like me type stuff. So, I felt like I was, I was a cool ass bitch. I never had a problem. I was cool. I never started beef. You know what? I ain't gonna lie. I might have been a little messy in middle school, high school. You know, you be kids. You don't know what's going on. Cool. So, in high school, that's when I really became the shit. In high school, I really became the shit. Period, Renee. In high school, ninth and 10th grade, I was lame. I was lame as hell. Ninth, 10th, and 11th grade, I was lame. My senior fucking year, bro, I came to school fly as hell. You can't tell me, bitch, I came to school fly as hell. as miss every day. I came to school fly as hell every single day. The, the baddest, sh the most expensive shoes, the most expensive clothes. It's not even about price. I came to school fly as hell, bro, every single day. It's like the bitches they ain't with me. My friends can say was haters, but then also I was cute as fuck, bro. How you gonna hate? Cool. Anyway, got out of the hospital. Cool. I've been a ho I was at the hospital for a year. I was with my ex but we was living together. Cool. You know, I was just chilling. Life was going good. I was trying to be in school. It wasn't working out as well. I was trying to do my classes. I'm still trying to be in college in my classes and get everything together. I'm still trying to do my shit with college, bro. I'm still in college. I respect everybody in this lot that has graduated that's in college that still got that shit going on. I respect you, bro. Because I can't even stay in college. Anyways, I was in college. I was with my ex-girlfriend. I was living with her. Shit wasn't working out, bro. Like, it was a toxic-ass shit. It was college. It was not It was, It was. was not cool. cool. 
So, the last previous year, I'm going to tell you how my life turned to the last pre- in, in the last year. It hasn't even been a year yet since so my life has really been what it is. Like I said, I've been it in real life, though. I've been popular. I've been a bad bitch. Everywhere I done went, everywhere that I've never been before, every time I've been to heart, I went to heart for my first time a year ago. Every time I went somewhere, bro, I was the shit every single place, bro. Every even though before me and Ari got together, everybody noticed me, bro. I was fine to sit. I'm fine as fuck. I'm skinny as fuck, but I'm cute. I went to Prairie View. Prairie View a and I love me to Prairie View. Even though I ain't go there for a long time, I'm PBAMU alumni, period. So I went to Prairie View. I'm going to uh, HCC now, period. The fuck? Period, Mari. Mari, stop playing on me, bro. I, I, bro. Mari. We don't have our own competition, but I want you a al- lot. I want, bro, fuck Sade. I'm not even with all that shit, but I want you. All right, anyways. Mark, don't get me started. Okay. So, anyways, let me tell you how my life changed in the last year. I get props to everybody. I love Michaela. I love everybody. In the last year, I started getting a lot of followers. Because before I met Michaela, I started getting a lot of followers because I started putting myself out there. I started posting my pictures. Michaela became really cool last friend. And if, if y'all know, me and Michaela, probably because her, her girl from DJ. If you don't know, when I met Ari, she didn't have as many followers as she do. I, I gave Ari a lot of her followers. Now, no shame because I love to, anybody I'm around for followers. But nah, bitch, stop playing with me. Y'all keep playing me in this live. I'm going to remove you before you piss me off. I guess I couldn't even be in the club like that. Get the fuck out the club then, bitch. If you ain't seen my TikTok, I said, when the bitch say, I don't know about you, but bitch, I'm going to turn up. Because I'm going to turn You don't got to be in the club like that, hoe. Tell me, I guess. Fuck you. The fuck? Anyways, so, Mari D and me, bro. I'm not playing. Don't get me started. Okay, anyways. Oh, I didn't see. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Being stuck. They didn't say that right now. I'm not seeing them comment. I'm not seeing them comment. Let me keep talking for y'all. Get me mad. Anyway, so my girlfriend is DJ. That's why I'm in the club so much. But anyways, in the last couple years, I've been getting a lot of followers. I've been getting a lot of support. I've been getting a lot of people that love me and that really support me and appreciate me, bro. I love the genuine ass people that actually have something positive to say, bro. If you come out live, you come out pictures and you say something negative, bro, I'm starting to feel like you a hater, bro. You miserable. I have never in my life went on somebody's page and said, bro, you ugly. I have never went in my life and said something fucked up to nobody. I am drunk. Don't be laughing because I am drunk. <laughs> what am I doing as drunk? Hey, Zabo. Zabo, Zabo, have you been in here the whole time? I have never never in my life went into somebody who had said, like, fuck you, you ugly. I never make a fake page and say some weirdo shit, bro. I'm so real. Everybody that's ever met me in person, I have never heard a bad review. Only bad reviews, only people that say something bad about me is somebody that I have never met in person, bro. That's all, bro. I'm a cool ass individual, bro. I'm cool as fuck. I don't know why people act like I'm such a badass person, bro. I'm I'm such a nice and sweet person. I love everybody. It's so many people that came up to me today. I'm not trying to be cocky. It's so many people that came up to me today and was like, bro, let me take a picture, bro. Let me speak to you. Let me just a conversation. I'm so nice. I was arguing with her today on Instagram Live. Bitch, you ain't giving my clout, ho. I done gave you too much clout. Bitch, I ain't giving you shit else. I'm so nice. I never disrespect her. I never disrespect nobody, bro. I'm so cool. I'm an Aries. I'm done, y'all. I, I'm just drunk. It's 3 a.m. I need to go my sleep and take a... I need to go my ass to sleep. I'm gonna go home and cook and eat salsa, y'all. Did I eat you salsa? Did y'all see that? Let me show y'all. What is that? Oh, now you want to talk to us. Is that live or what? Are you on live? Yes, I am. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on? No, it's not live. Yeah. I'm finna get off live, y'all. I just wanna, I just, you know what? I'm sorry for coming out here drunk. Everybody's here. It's the three people in here at, at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Eric's right here sitting next to me. She's just letting me talk. All right, anyway. I want to tell everybody here. I'm sorry for coming out here drunk. If you've been in here all day, I want to say I'm sorry for, like, even giving it to the negative energy. 
even giving it to like the negative vibes i'm so sorry like i don't want to be like that i want to be a positive person i want all my supporters to watch me be like damn she's a positive ass person bro she got her shit going on she's starting new shit like i want to be that person i don't want to be negative i don't want to have shit going on so i want to apologize to all my supporters everybody that truly supports me like you know what i don't i don't want y'all to think that about me i want to be a good person i'm so sorry okay period that girl i've been that girl bro and i run this shit bro i run, I run this is my motherfucking world and y'all just living in it for real okay i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm literally playing but bro i'm not a good ass i'm not a bad person i'm a good ass person i genuinely love everybody i'm not a spoiled bitch i'm not entitled bro I didn't came up from a hard life. My mom didn't came from a hard life, bro. Everybody didn't have shit going on. Everybody had their own struggles, okay? Bro, I don't got to apologize. I'm human, bro. Everybody is. So, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everybody supporting me. I appreciate Renee. I appreciate Zabo. I appreciate everybody that's coming here and being real life niggas, bro. The real niggas and the real bitches, they know me, bro. Zabo, are you going to Aries from now tomorrow? Because it's Jocelyn's Cabaret. When you come, all right. I'm gonna be honest. When you when y'all come here, I understand y'all y'all followers and y'all nosy. When you come here, tell me fill me in, bro. For what? What you want somebody to fill you in for? You trying to be nosy or what? Like, let me live my real life. Like this shit is not funny. Like this shit might be a joke to y'all. The tea is hot. The tea is funny. It's not funny in real life, bro. It's lame. I'm. It's lame. It's lame. It's lame. It's lame. The only person I can give my props to, bro, I say this every time I'm online. The only person I give my props that can, that can actually get attention about, out of me is Michaela, bro. She's the only person. Everybody beyond me or after me that cannot get shit from me. They cannot get clout from me. They can get shit in them. Shit us, bro. That's it. And that's it. Ain't, ain't nothing happening. A lame ass so cap. Ain't nobody took that shit for real, G. Okay. I'm making good money off Instagram. I'm making good money off my week promos. I'm making good money off my YouTube. I'm making good money off my TikTok. So if you're not fucking me, that's cool. I'm surviving, bro. I live in a $2,000 apartment every month, bro. That might not be a lot to you, but it's a lot to me, bro. I'm literally barely making 20 years old. I'm living very good for my age, bro. I don't have a job. I don't go to school. I don't do shit. And I'm living very, very well. Period. Take on some ain't nobody fuck with you. You don't gotta be fuck on me. And it's all for the remove you on my live. I'm doing very well. I'm eating very bitch, I just cook lobster. Bitch. Thank you. You fuck with me for real. Bitch, I say no, nah, I'm saying I do fuck with you. Bitch, choose a side hoe. Let me see the person that you said I don't fuck with you for real. Hold on. Ain't nobody fuck with you for real. Like to be don't try to so y'all be fake as fuck, bro. I'm not with that fake ass shit, bro. You just say you don't fuck with me, bro. Me and, Ka- me and Michaela was out today. I just left on Michaela, bro. Y'all are thirsty. Y'all want to eat dick so bad. Stop eating dick, bro. I don't have to tell everybody that I'm friends with Michaela. Can you tell Michaela? Michaela already know that. She already know that shit. I don't have to eat dick, bro. I don't have to post on friends with every other day and say I'm not fucking with like this lame ass hoe. Because I don't give a fuck. I'm getting off love. I'm too damn dry. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. I'm literally yelling. I'm I'm getting off. Bye. Bye. Love y'all. <laughs> Renee, thank you. I gotta get off, Renee. Bye. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. I love you. That support. I'm gonna get a lot at a the positive note. It's a positive time when I'm when I'm eating some fucking cake and celebrating, bro. I'm tired of these toes, bro. For real, for real. You trying to be lit? Don't get.